everybody, A. Ali Flores again here with OrlandoVacation.com and have we got a great video for you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. When visiting the Disney World resorts with little kids, you might find it hard to decide which park is best for family-friendly fun where both adults and children can enjoy to their heart's content. After getting feedback from our customers and seeing it for ourselves, we believe it is the magic kingdom you know what before we get into the magic kingdom hit that bell icon and the subscribe button so you can stay on top of all the tips and info for your next orlando vacation let's discuss all the reasons why magic kingdom is the best disney world park especially when you're traveling with kids now the the kids age bracket we're talking about is from 3 to 12 years old so let's begin with the best rides at magic kingdom for safe family fun for everyone. It's a Small World is an iconic Disney World ride. Many parents might enjoy it with their kids because of the nostalgia it brings from their childhood trips to Disney World. It features the familiar song, It's a Small World After All. That happens throughout the entirety of the ride as well as the entirety of your vacation because once it gets in your head, it never leaves. The languages keep changing as the ride progresses. For older kids, the fun of riding it can be doubled as they try to guess different countries represented along the ride. While it is also an exciting experience for the younger children who would be in awe as the scenes change around them, Peter Pan's Flight is also a classic Magic Kingdom ride that might make many parents nostalgic. Along with the happy memories it brings for the adults, it is also exciting for the little ones. The ride is a pirate ship that sails over a scale model of London and tells Peter Pan's story through the animatronic visuals. The fans of Peter Pan, whether old or young, will love it even more as they enjoy the experience with the audio from the movie. Dumbo the Flying Elephant is yet another classic ride of the Magic Kingdom, perfect for family-friendly fun. Apart from the aerial carousel style ride, there's also a playground in the circus tent where the younger kids can play until their turn to hop on the ride. When you want to take a little break from the nostalgia of Magic Kingdom's classics, Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin is perfect for you and your kids. It is an exciting ride for all ages that takes your spaceship through various glow-in-the-dark rooms. It can also bring a much-needed thrill for the little kids while being safe. Along the way, you get to shoot targets with your laser gun, compete with the person you're riding next to, and diminish their chances of beating you by turning their cart around. All the rides mentioned above have no height restrictions at Disney World's Magic Kingdom. However, there are some popular and exciting rides with height requirements. Big Thunder Mountain, Splash Mountain, and Space Mountain, all 40 inches. Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, 38 inches. Tomorrowland Speedway, 32 inches. The Barnstormer, 35 inches. Tron Light Cycle Power Run, 48 inches. Character meet and greets are probably the most exciting thing for children after the exciting rides. The chance to see your favorite Disney World characters and the joy it brings can be out of this world. You get a photo opportunity from Disney's official photographers. Meet and greet opportunities. You got Mickey Mouse at Town Hall, Tinkerbell at Town Hall, Ariel in her grotto, Cinderella and Elena of Avalor at Princess Fairytale Hall, Rapunzel and Tiana at Princess Fairytale Hall, um, and you can meet the following characters at Adventureland. Captain Jack Sparrow, Aladdin, and Jasmine. You can meet the following characters at Tomorrowland. You've got Buzz Lightyear, Woody, Jesse, Mr. and Mrs. Incredible, Frozone, Edna Mode, or Edna Mode, and Stitch. You can also meet these characters at Fantasyland. Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Donald, Daisy, Minnie, Goofy, Merida, Gaston, Alice from the Wonderland, the Mad Hatter, the Evil Stepsister, Wendy, and Peter Pan. Furthermore, you can also be part of the scheduled meet and greets throughout the theme park. Let's talk about dining. After a long day of exciting fun and meet and greets, your children will likely feel hungry. Heck, you might feel hungry too. Magic Kingdom has some great options for sitting down and getting a bite. The first place that comes to mind is the Liberty Tree Tavern. It's a cozy eatery with amazing lunch and dinner options in the traditional New England style. The next great option uh, could be Be Our Guest. It is a Beauty and the Beast themed restaurant with a lovely ambiance for a family friendly lunch or dinner. You can also sit and eat in the rooms themed after the Beast's Castle. It is best to reserve these places in advance as they are quite popular among visitors. Yet another reason why the Magic Kingdom is the best Disney World park if you're traveling with children 
is the baby care center. If you happen to be traveling with babies, this center is equipped with changing tables, uh, space for children to relax, a separate room for nursing mothers to feed their babies, and a small selection of to be bought baby care items such as wipes, diapers, baby food, and extra clothing. The baby care center is an air conditioned space and can be a great way for mothers and babies alike to take a breather and sit in a quiet place. On your next trip with children, if you feel doubtful about which Disney World park to visit, you now have plenty of reasons to go to the Magic Kingdom. It is a family friendly, fun filled park with a range of enjoyable experiences. We've only listed a few here and there is plenty of room for exploration. Traveling with children can be expensive. Check out amazing discounts on Disney World tickets, vacation packages, lodging, and rental at Orlando Vacation. Pro tip, booking in advance with us can also help you save a few bucks. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye everybody.